Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I'm back and I can't wait to start shopping with my beautiful friends and family, so I don't wanna waste one more moment. I wanna hippity hop right on into it. What, what, wait until you see what we got. I am so pumped about it. Now look at this look at it in its entirety i'm so stoked about this for two reasons and i can't wait to tell you why but i do want to show you the information first so that is the brand right here i'm just going to show it to you so that i don't butcher the name of it this is a yoga knee mat with carry handle so this is a cushion uh cushions knees elbows for extra support during your yoga practice and i think that this is nifty cool amazingly cute and it feels really great such a nice great quality and um i might just try yoga because look at this on the back there are some great poses to teach you what to do. And for, you know, just limbering up and feeling a little less stiff, I might give this a shot in a relaxing afternoon session of doing some yoga poses. So this is that, you know, all that information on the back is great. This is hair, child, pigeon, cat, table, plank, camel and cow positions for yoga and i think that that is pretty nifty cool and cute and i can't wait to give it a shot let's see if it will help me get off of the floor after i'm done recording hauls doing a little bit of yoga but also the other purpose for this great mat right here is so that i can sit on it and get a little cushioning while i'm recording my videos so i'm really pumped about it i do like the handle so much and i will carry this with me maybe multiple places so i think it's grand nifty cool and cute and i might even sit on it at the beach so what what to that and i'm super duper excited now check these out what in the world let's throw back to saturday and me have an mtv on in the living room with my boom box my TV on my beautiful old 80s stand and grooving out with my little cousins in the living room dancing to MC Hammer. Yes, I am so excited for these MTV low cut socks. There's 10 pairs in here, size four to 10 for a size. Wow, wowzers and wowzers. Look at that MTV beautiful logo. Boy, I wish, I just wish for those days back so much. I do love my life, but I definitely, as I am aging, am more and more fond of the younger years, of all of the great traditions that we grew up with and how simple it used to be because we did the same stuff every week with the same people, family, and friends, and we had a blast with it no matter how much we did it. And MTV music videos were always playing while we were dancing in the living room. So that is all the pairs of socks and I'm so excited. And then on the back, it will show you each and every style that I just flipped through. So that is a fun time. That is an extra super duper fun time. And I'm bedazzled by the colors. I certainly am. Then in the baby section, this wasn't even with the socks. This was over in the baby care section. There were these amazing sets of socks from this great brand. So here is the brand right there. And these are crew socks. Now they did come in three different sizes. I think it was like zero to three months, three to six months, um, 12, 12 months to 18 months. So they had a bunch of different sets. This is six pairs inside of here. And this is the 12 to 24 months of each stocking in each of these packages so i picked up the ones that were my favorite but there were several other different color combinations and patterns to pick up as well so i love them and that one is so dainty and pretty i love the flower pattern on it and the front there it says um it says pumpkin with a little pumpkin right at the top so I think that they're just adorable as adorable can be. And if you have little babes that you need to get them for for Christmas, this is the time to try to look at the Dollar Tree and see if you can pick up these wonderful socks in a bunch of different sizes. So, and this was the other set. 
that I thought was really, really fantastically pretty. I love the purple theme to these, that lavender fun purple. And I love all of the combinations of the different six pairs of socks inside of this package as well. So these are the two that I chose and I'm gonna give them to somebody that I know and love that has a little girl. So this one is size 2T to 4T. So this is a size up from what I got in that previous package. And then this one right here says sweet dreams with the little moon. So I thought that that was just so pretty. But the little teeny tiny mini ones, they were so short and chubby. They were just adorable and lovely and they made me happy. And I had said to myself and also my friend, I said, oh man, I wish that they had boy options as well. And you know, this style sock, but they didn't. So I went to the next Dollar Tree and my beautiful friend says, look at what we got in. And now these are packaged very oddly. So I did question, are these supposed to be separated and I'm supposed to pay $125 per pair? And she said, no, they packaged them inside of this plastic bag and they stuck that Dollar Tree tag on it. So it's all of those pairs inside of this bag for $125. So I was excited by that. Also, these have grippies on it. Those did not have grippies on it. I had to check to make sure. But they have the little grippy pads on the bottom so that the little babe's feet don't slip around. And these are a much smaller size. Now, mind you, you can't tell because it has no labeling on here where they came from, what brand they are. So I don't know what size they're going to be. But to me, that looks like about a three to six month size, roughly. And these could go either way, boy or girl. They just have really cute, adorable patterns on them. So I picked these up as well so that I can gift away to a sweet little baby boy or even a girl that has that size shoe and sock. So I thought that that was grand, lovely, happy, and adorable. And I couldn't wait to pass it before your beautiful faces. Now, speaking of the little cherubs, the little sweet little bambinos, um, I found these also in the baby section right below those socks in their own box. And I have hauled the Disney characters that are little plushies like this. I've hauled all kinds of cute little miniatures, but I've never seen a Sesame Street line. And these are the three that I found. So this is the Sesame Street Pod Pals and they are just so cute squishy and chubby so i picked up cookie monster that adorable little hunkalicious muffin and isaiah my son that's 20 years old now through his entire childhood, he loved miniature things and he needed to have a miniature toy of some sort in each one of his hands at all times. He couldn't just hold one. He needed to hold two so that his hands were even of his little babies, you know, that he would carry around. So these are just such a cute, adorable size. There is Zoe. Zoe is a girl of my own heart with her colorful self her beautiful, beautiful, colorful, squishy self. So I picked her up because she's my favorite. Um, and then Elmo, which is everybody's favorite. <laughs> so Elmo's so cute. I really wish that they had Oscar the Grouch and Big Bird. And I'm hoping I run into them because I would really honestly love the whole line. I love my little squishy toys that I've picked up from the Dollar Tree of all different uh, brands of styles of toys and shows that are old and new of those squishy little babies. So I'm hoping to find more of those. I definitely am, but those would be super duper cool and cute for stocking stuffers for the kiddos. And then look at this. There's more Crayola books coming out and I could not believe I found a Crayola Mr. Potato Head next. So we've found the Monopoly one. We found the Candyland one as well as so many others in the Crayola line. But this one is a Mr. Potato Head. So sticker and activity pad. So there's 25 activity pa uh, pages and two sticker sheets. So as you know, these are just so much fun and I always enjoy the stickers extra a lot, but I also really enjoy the games inside. And this, this option for giving, you know, gifting is just so great right before the holidays. 
So there are the two sticker sheets and Mr. Potato Head is a throwback from my childhood as well. I used to love to dress them up and make them all kinds of funny outfits and add all kinds of accessories to them. So we have some cool pages that we can color in as well as do some activities. So another great, thick, cool book to work through. And I'm obsessed and happy about it. So I love that. Now skimming through some other new stuff for presents, gifting and all that. I found these great new packages in the toy section. So I scooped them right up. This is DC Super Friends and this is dough and mold. So that's really, really cool. Here is little tubs of, you know, green and yellow style type of play-doh and then right here are the two mold characters and a little a little thing where you can put the dough in and then you can squish it and little strings of like spaghetti looking dough will come out of the top so i this is really fun this is a great fun time and i love play-doh so and i always let isaiah play with play-doh i didn't care we just sat at the table and we cleaned it up afterwards or I'd throw down like a drop cloth or something. If we were like near a rug area, I'd get well, like a plastic wrap or something, set it on the floor wherever he was playing and he'd play with Play-Doh on top of that. Um, and then here is this one with Superman, which I think he's really awesome. And then I know I should know who that is. I know I should absolutely, but I don't, I don't recall. I really don't recall. And I know you guys are going to tell me and then I'm going to be like, I did know that. <laughs> so this has another one of those little squishy things that the little noodles will come out of the dough and the cute little Play-Doh in blue and red. So really, really fun. Great options for $1.25 for the babes. Thought that that was jazzy fresh. Now I don't know which way to go because we have things going all over the place. All right, let's go down the tool bench section for a moment, shall we? I found this new stuff here. And anytime I see new stuff I can craft with or that Richie can use for projects or just little odds and ends and needs around the house, I pick it up so we can give it a try. Now, this is called Loctite Express Wood Glue, 10 minute clamp time, strong bond, paintable and sandable. And so this is interior. And it's four fluid ounces. So it's a decent side, uh, size little bottle. And I definitely wanted to pick that up for him to give it a shot. So here is that magnificent little fine. And he loves everything I scoop up for him. And he usually says to me, you got that from the Dollar Tree? And I say, yes, babe. Yes, I did. <laughs> so in the same exact brand here, I found epoxy and I don't know if I can use this with the Dollar Tree resin. I'm going to have to look it up or my beautiful, wonderful, smart friends here can tell me because I still am trying to work with the resin situation that I picked up in a haul from the Dollar Tree months ago at this point, And I still want to make those molds. So this is epoxy stone, um, wood, metal, ceramic, glass tile, most plastic general purpose multi surface and it's uh, th uh 3400 psi so this is um 0.85 fluid ounces and this is translucent yellow and it says in five minutes and it comes in this in this cool little gadget that you kind of push down and it pushes the epoxy out. So I don't know how to use it, but I'm sure that there are instructions on the back that will guide us as we need to know. And um, I'm going to give it to Richie and let him play with it and tell me what I could potentially use it for or if he could use it himself. So definitely a great thing to just pick up for 125 to see if I need to go back and get more if he likes it. So this is Loctite Essentials Super Glue Liquid Multi-Surface Fast Acting Formula. Again, it's good for wood, metal, leather, rubber, paper, ceramic, and most plastics. And this is a 0.7 ounce little super glue right there. So I definitely am going to keep this because sometimes when I'm making my projects, crafts, and things like that, I do need a stronger glue than just like a glue stick or something that I generally go toward crafting with. And um, I need something that's going to last longer and more securely. So I'm going to keep that in my craft stash and I'm pumped. 
I am pumped about it. Now, I did get some magnets. I found some really fancy, fun magnets, but I am going to tell you the funny ones that I left behind that I was a little surprised about. <laughs> so this is so cute. These are ceramic and then they have the big magnets on the back. Um, this one says your opinion is not part of the recipe. These were really sassy, kind of fun, silly, you know, just kind of like pokey little magnets that I've never seen before. So I picked up the three that I thought were cute. And then the other ones were a little like, whoa, who came up with those sayings? <laughs> this one is never trust a skinny cook, which I think is kind of cute and funny. So that's really adorably cute. Again, another ceramic little magnet. So I like that for my fridge collage. And then this one is the last one that I picked up which is my favorite with the rolling pin and the utensils. And this is happiness is homemade. And that was definitely the sweetest. And then the other one, I should have taken a picture of it, but I don't have a lot of memory on my cell phone. So it's hard for me to take pictures at the moment because I'm having space trouble. But the other one said something about if you don't like my food, don't eat it. I don't know. They said fresh stuff. The other one said um, something about, you know, whatever I, uh, whatever I've cooked. Some people make it, some people are died or something like that. I was like, what, what is happening? I'm going to have to go back to the store and see if I can find them again and see if I can screenshot it or do something to try to get the images of those magnets. I know I'm probably not saying it completely correctly, but they did like shock me a little bit. I definitely don't want them on my fridge. That's all I'm saying. Maybe some people will think it's funny, but I don't really like it. <laughs> so anywho, my friend also pointed this out to me and she said, have you ever tried that oven cleaner? And I said, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen that. And she said, yeah, we just got it in. So look at this ginormous bottle right here. This is humongous. I could not even believe it when she showed it to me. This is heavy duty LA's totally awesome, which is a fantastic brand. I love all their products. This is an oven cleaner, tough on grease, and this is 40 fluid ounces. And it does say keep out of reach of children. She said she got some, she washed down her whole stove. She said even the glass in the front that gets all that muck and guck from the inside to the outside and everything. She said, you just spray it on, let it sit for a second and it wipes right off. That was her, you know, that was her assessment of the situation of using it for herself. So she said, your stove is going to be so clean if you spray this down and really, really let it sink in and then wipe it. So I said, I'm going to give that a shot. Because right before Christmas, I would like a nice, fresh, clean stove. I certainly would. So I picked it up to give that a try. And I hope it's jazzy fresh. So ta-da for that. Now, I'm sorry for reaching. I have things a little bit everywhere. Let me scooch a little close to you. Um, I found these napkins and I could not leave them even though they didn't even have the plates or anything like that matching them. It was just a whole box of new Christmas napkins that made me happy and I loved the images on them. This is um, 24 pieces of napkins from Christmas House and isn't that beautiful? Now, even though they don't have the plates with them or anything like that, I would still set out those napkins along with all of my other mix matched Christmas plates and stuff like that. And they are just a lovely, beautiful napkin. Also, you can craft with napkins all the time. So I think that that's a beautiful, beautiful image to do anything that you want with it. And I love the background. Her outfit is adorable in her little elf gear and that cute, sweet little snowman. So, and the tree is sparkling and I love it. So this one right here is 24 pieces as well from Christmas House. And I love the color combination of this. I love it. It is pink and green. And I have to say that my friend Donna, she made me a Christmas present. She made me Christmas presents okay and sent them to me 
but what she made me one thing is like blow your mind and I am going to share pictures later of my friend mail that I have received. I only post my friend mail to my community tab now to thank people that you know just want to you know extend themselves and send me love through the mail. You can always email me at crazycallen at yahoo.com for us to like talk privately, exchange information if anybody ever wanted to send just just cards back and forth um but she made me a Christmas themed item that was all pink and green and I loved it and it looked so beautiful the color combination so when I found these na napkins with pink and green I had to pick them up and I love the image on it so those made my heart extra happy and I can tell you next year I am thinking about doing a pink and green Christmas because of what Donna gave to me. So I'll share some pictures at some point over this week of what she sent. Um, I got some great new books. I did. Look at this. This is Jot Journaling and this is a five by seven journal with 60 sheets inside of it. And then there are stickers in the front sleeve here that you can add to the journal or you can take them out and use them for other things. And they are fun bananas and I love everything banana themed <laughs> so I thought that they were so happy and I love that they had all the beautiful faces on them those smiley happy faces they're just so cute and bright and shimmery and then inside the 60 sheets are all lined it's a nice little book to jot down your hopes your dreams your wishes and your to-do list so I picked that one up then I grabbed this one that is all the little doggies and kitties on it with some of their fun toys. So that's a sticker sheet right in the front as well. And then here is the journal. So really cute. They did have a brand new box. There were another two choices. One had smiley faces. The other one had some rainbows on the stickers. I did leave those behind because I have other books that are just like this with some of those same stickers. But these two were brand new and I loved both options. So those are sweet as sweet can be. Picked those right up. And then I picked up this whole entire little booklet and this says groceries and I think this is great to keep myself organized at Aldi because I get a little waylaid in there. So the other ones said shopping list on it. The other notepads that I found but this I'm trying to see if it says specifically how many sheets. I don't see specifically you know any information but it is a decent sized little booklet and I love that the pages are lined, but they also have the check boxes on there so that once you pick up the things that you need at the grocery store, you can mark it off so that you know you got that item. And I need that organization, I do, because a lot of times I go in with like lists on my phone and things like that, and I don't even look at my phone. I, I have to tell you, just in case anybody's ever wondering, I. I have very specific times of the day that I look at my phone and then other than those specific times I do not touch my phone and I do that on purpose so that I can get, engage in other things you know in my home and my wants needs crafts and things like that so I I do certain times of the day for a certain amount of time and then I'm off my phone so when I'm at the grocery store I do just kind of forget that I have the list on the phone I definitely need something that's paper that I can hold with me. Um, and then I got this pen set. I got this pen set because this has shown up periodically for a while. It is my favorite. Look at all those colors. They are fantastic. This is the ink brand. This is Click, um, Clip Clicks Maximum Value. And this is Comfort Grip Easy Grip Retract. And there's 10 ballpoint pens in here. And they are assorted ink. So every single color that you see on these pens is the color of the ink inside the pens. So definitely excited to see that back. And this set would go beautifully with any of those books that I just showed you, including the grocery list. So I got some beautiful new pens and I am so thankful that I did. Now I have to show you, I did find some other body wash. I did, and they have magnificent, magnificent scents to them. And I've hauled two others, I believe, and showed you. Now I found another one from this Personal Care Line Body Wash, limited edition cotton candy. This is gluten-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and folate-free, and it's 15 fluid ounces, and it smells 
amazing. So I couldn't believe when they had a cotton candy one and I'm super excited about that. Then, then I found the one that is Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean is so cool and cute and I love the packaging on all of these new body washes and I think that they are just fun to grab, put in a set, make a nice little basket, grab a loofah, grab whatever is going to pair well with a nice cozy relaxing bath or a shower for somebody and have them try these beautiful scents. So I thought that that was fun and it smells grand and delightful. So what, what to that? That's a happy, happy time. Um, and then hello, look at these pretty woman nails, pretty woman nails. Um, these are press on nails. This is 12 faux nails, a salon, perfect manicure in five minutes. The glue, however, is not included. And this is a vegan product. So I thought that that was really cool and cute. And I love that style French manicure. That's really, really attractive and pretty. So I picked that up and I'm going to give it to my Cindy in her stocking. And then look at this one. This has the same description as everything else that I just read to you. On the last package, glue is not included. And look at that fun time. That's a little pink, you know, for the prominent look on it, that little light pink look. And I wouldn't even call that a French manicure, obviously not, but it's got a really cute tip to it. It certainly does. So I think that those are pretty. And she loves that neutrally, very naturally look that also has some very soft pinks in it or beige and, and grays and things like that. That's like her color palette is very um, earthy tones. So I loved those for my girl. And then look at these beautiful, stunning hair clips. These are, these are amazingly lovely. Absolutely amazingly lovely. This is um, two hair clips inside of here. And they are just beautiful bouquets. But look at how they sparkle, shimmer, and shine. And I absolutely love that they took put they put two of them in here so we get a gold option with the little faux diamonds in it and a silver option with the little gold diamonds in it so that is a clip that you just can kind of clip in the side of like a nice updo or even if you leave your hair down sweep up one side and clip that in that's a beautiful hair piece to put in a wedding anything a wedding that would be a beautiful piece uh for that absolutely and then these are gorgeous little clips as well with those beautiful beautiful flowers so you get two of them in here as well and these clip in the same exact way so i thought that these were quite lovely and you know we got a lot of weddings from spring to like you know all the way up through the summer and if you can buy your hair piece or even for your bridesmaids hair pieces for 125, they don't look like they cost 125, not to me anyways. And I think that they're extra pretty. So I say that that's a pretty good choice. Then I found this beautiful headband. Will you look at this lovely, fluffy, puffy headband with the awesome top knot. Now they did have this in a couple of different colors, but I loved the lavender, loved the lavender. And that's like a creepy, fun material that I just think is super pretty. So I picked up that great new headband and I can't wait to pop it in my hairdo. So there is that. Now I did get... I did get some fun stuff. I did get some makeup options and some fun, fun things. And it came in this great little baggie here. Um, and I already opened it up a pinch so I could show you what's inside. Now, this is Dream Lumi. And this is, uh, wait, that's a different language. This is Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer from Maybelline, New York. So that is a highlighter. And isn't that grand? And then I think you twist this bottom and then you have the applicator right up at the top there. So that is nice. That is really fun and nice. And, you know, a nice highlight always just spruces up the joint. So I picked that right up. Yes, I certainly did. 
Then I found this and my packaging broke in the bag on the way home. So I apologize, but that is the brand. That's what it's supposed to say on the front. It says Candy Moyo and they've been coming out with all kinds of makeup in this line lately. This is long wear light beige, but it did have a bunch of other color options as well as mocha, dark mocha. Um, there was several others, multi usage contour concealer, and this is pretty cool. So this is like, you know, you push this up, the makeup goes from here up into the little applicator. So I thought that that was great. And the light beige was the one that was closest to my skin tone. So I picked that up and I can't wait to give it a try. I, so far, so good. I like that. I like that stuff, that Candy Moyo brand of the things that I've found so far. It's really, really quite jazzy fresh. And then this one, this is for your eyes. And so I thought my Cindy would like this very much as well. Now I am going to take this out of the packaging. It just says eye up at the top anyways. This is all sealed inside anyhow. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the packaging. This is L'Oreal. This is L'Oreal Infallible Paints Eyeshadow. It's 318 Noon Fish, uh, Noon. Ay, mama me. Uh, <laughs> nude Fishnet. That's what it's called. 318 Nude Fishnet from L'Oreal. So I thought that that was really pretty. This side has like a beautiful sparkle to it, a little bit of sheen and shine. And this one is like a matte side. So I thought that she would enjoy that very much. She looks so pretty and sleek when she does her makeup. So I thought I would add that to her little basket as well. She's got baskets for skincare. She's got baskets for body care. She's got baskets for toiletries and all kinds of bedazzled happy things. And I love to do it for her. And then I thought that this lipstick would go really pretty with all of that other color palette stuff I just showed you. This is LA Colors Hydrating Lipstick Creamy Finish. And this is Natural Shine. Natural Shine. It's a, a cruelty-free product. Vitamin E and aloe vera. So I love that. And will you look at how beautiful? I hope that that lipstick comes out just like that on her lips. That is a very attractive nude color. And I quite love it myself, to be honest with you. So that made me extra happy to pick that up from my girly whirly. And then look at this. I found another shade of beautiful nail polish. I did. I found another one. This is like the fifth one that I found. And this is that Candy Moyo brand, eight free, 100% vegan. And this is vegan friendly polish. And this one is the maroon color, which I had not yet discovered. And I think that that maroon is very, very pretty. I would call it more of a red, but they're calling it maroon. So I will go with whatever they say, because they are the boss. They created it, right? <laughs> so that's that. And now this is last but not least. This is last but not least, but I still want to show you. This is Angel of Mine. So this also came from the baby section. This is diaper disposal bags. Center, uh, scented to neutralize odors. That's cool. Handles tie for quick, secure closure. Perfect for home and travel. And there are 75 of them inside of here. So I thought that this would just be nice for on the go, you know, when I'm in my car, just to put my own personal trash in so that I can tie it up and put it in the trash right when I get home. And, um, there's 75 bags. So I like that. I certainly do. And I wanted to have them on hand. So ta-da with that. I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul day. For those of that are new here. Hi, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. I am extraordinarily happy to be able to do this with you. Thank you for doing it with me too. And I would love if you'd stick around, stay, and hang out some more. So that is it. I am off. I am off like one of Santa's elves. I got so much thing going on and needs to be wrapped up by the end of this day. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. And I will see you on happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I love all you beautiful faces. Bye everyone.